Good morning, guys. Happy New Year. Okay. Finally done with my craft room. OMG. I am so sore oh, from working so hard organizing this thing. So anyway, let's get right to it. I am so happy. Thank you to my brother and hubby and everybody who helped. Sissy, they all helped. My brother-in-law. So this is the door to go in. And I'll, get, I'll try to give you a pan. And I'm sorry if you guys get a little motion sickness. I will try my best not to shake too much. So this is it. So we'll start. Okay, we'll start here. So this is my uh, shipping. I want this like my workstation, my shipping station. And so what I did here is um, that is stuff that I have listed in the shop. So whenever I get an order, I can just pack it up right there. Um, these are all books that I have in here. I have some, uh, just some cards, some stickers, uh, metal embellishment. This stuff is like vintage uh, pages. I won't take that out. That's too boring. This is, uh, all my notebooks that I use. I rip out sheets to put in my junk journals. So that's that. Here I have my envelope punch board and the little mini one. And then this is all pages that I put in my journals. Coffee dye paper and maps and all that stuff. I have my file folders for when I do a soft cover. And then this is all the vintage items that I've received. Uh, thank you so much, Dee. I received these vintage items and then I bought uh, vintage items too. So then here I have my vintage magazines and coloring books, my vintage wallpapers and vintage music. So I have them like, you know, in little Ziploc baggies. This basket holds all of my um, shipping and all my bags and all that kind of thing. Back here, I have my heat gun um, and then my printers there. And what I did here is I put uh, these uh, magnet sheets right on the wall there um, at self-adhesive. And I just put all my dyes because if I don't see them, I don't use them. I don't have a lot, a lot, but I would like to start using what I have. And then, of course, my little... Um, big shop so oh and also what I did is to protect the table I just gave it a layer of resin and I'll show you my work table what I did with that also with resin so then here I just have a uh, one of those file things um, I figured it can hold anything here I have these little wall baskets and I have all of my Sharpie markers here. And then I have all of my other like paint markers and things like that. This little plaque I got um, from when I resigned uh, my job. They gave me this little plaque here. Then on top here, up there, I have my embossing powders my glitters and my flocking. Here I have my puffy paint and my acrylic paint. I want to start working with resin more. So I have, this is from when I used to paint with oil. This is uh, the epoxy uh, pigments. And here I have the watercolor crayons, soft pastels. I also used to do like little doll sculptures and this is the paint that I used to use to paint, to paint, the, you know, to paint them. Here is my uh, mold release homemade texture paste and gesso and then the clear gesso. 
And then here I have all my glues and things like that. Up here, I have my silicone molds and things that I want to start using um, with the resin. I used to make coasters and resin, so that's that one. And then I have all the silicone molds and things in here for when that time comes. So, let me continue to show you. Down here, I have these two cubbies. And what I did is because they look, they're too, br too busy for my brain, I just sort it put a, a piece of cardstock in the front so this holds all of my napkins and I separated them in Ziploc bags according to you know Christmas or and then this is all ephemera the ephemera that I use on my journals and another ephemera down there for my journals my brother put that little heater there boy that heat that little thing heats up so good this room and then this is, uh, you know, those uh, cards, botanical. Here I have all my envelopes and greeting cards, my Christmas ribbons, and my Christmas books. Because I won't be using that anytime soon. That box there holds all more ephemera. This little table here, I found it at a estate sale it was all messed up I've had it for a few years now and I decoupage napkin on the shelf the front drawer and the top and I, I'm just using it here now this is like more like tools and things you know just tools and, then, and paper packs I just got this new one, guys. Um, this new uh, Graphic 45 bundle. It's the Dream something. Really pretty. Okay. So then you go here. And I have... Uh, all of my wooden stamps are here. This is... Hola, Silvia. ¿Cómo estás? Um, fabric and lace snippets. This is like all the little, you know, snippets and things that, you know, we normally have. Christmas fabrics. Here I have the lace, laces, napkins, and doilies. I have, I bought these at, these boxes at Foreman Mills. And I just had these little knobs you know the little pools and i just made a hole and used them so it has all of my uh, applique flowers in there and then here i have all of my cards and all my tallies and here i have a full of eyelash trim so here is like specialty fabrics you know and then ribbons and seam bindings i have all in there more Christmas things. Here I have all of my notepads and my delicate laces. More books and ruler and a selfie stick. Here I have all of my vintage laces. And all my punches are in this one. And more vintage trims and things like that. Um, this is vintage pins. This is all, these are all my brooches and things. And uh, vintage postcards and, ca and calling cards. And here I just have like my glue sticks and these little bottles that I love. I bought a big bag of it. They're so good. Here are my two personal journals, the one that I won from Aisha and my own that I made years ago. And then I have this little thing here, which is, I have a gel plate roller there, all my new um, acrylics, paint brushes. And these are the two little journals that are left in the shop. 
and my blowtorch for when I start working with resin. And this in here is all the things that I have to list in the shop. And then here is just my book binding things in here. And some bow pens there. And then these are all my personal books that I use for journal making. Oh, hold on. So I have, you know, those are all my my personal books that I use. I rip pages out of or use the covers for. I got these um, fabric uh, things and they worked perfectly for that. Those two cubby spaces there. So I have all of my fabrics in there, which I love because they are clear. So, you know, it have the clear window so I can see what I have in there. And it worked just perfect for those spaces there. Trash can. And then here I have a basket. And I just hung, you know, like the, the things I reach out a lot uh, for journals. Because I just threaded them here. It almost looks like a dream catcher, don't it? <laughs> so let me show you what I did for my table. I resined everything because I want it to last so can you see I added gold glitter to to the uh, resin and then I threw mica's mica that gold mica sheet you know and it's all embedded in there and now it's going to last forever so I did that all along the table you can see I wanted to maximize my table space so um, I have my computer there and then these little guys whole little bits and pieces you know and then my windowsill um these <laughs> these roses I bought they're like a foam rose I bought those for my to make centerpieces for my daughter's baby shower and we ended up not using them. So I'm like, I just put them there for now. I'll I have to find a craft for that. And of course, my hand cream says I'm always washing my hands and because I get glue on them or whatever. Here I have just little tools, my little um, jewel picker upper, my brushes, hand sanitizer, my little uh, thingamajig there. My little for the wax. My sister got me these little angels and it's supposed to relax you when you rub it. So I love that. And then these little guys, turtles. I love turtles. And look at that one. It's all made of seashells. Here I took all of my uh, cling stamps and I just, you know, like labeled them like that. So I have them at the ready. If I have it, that I see it, I will use it. And then I have my little pen, fountain pen there, my phone thing, my silicone mat, coffee, of course, and my little, I can't remember what that's called. And then here on the pegboard, this is what I did for the pegboard. I have my TV there. I have all my thread right by the machine. And then I just, uh, my brother framed it out for me to give it stability and so I just have like this one holds all the stickers I rarely use stickers, but um, These are my embossing folders More stickers more little charms down there and then these are the guys that I bought off of, out of Amazon so they hold like the uh, brads and corners just little bits and pieces. And then these guys up here hold. Hi, honey. Happy New Year. Thank you. Um, I have my washi buttons, little tools. And so, yeah, these are my stencils. And I have my TV. Then I have all of my inks up here with my 
thread my machine i wish i could you know put the, the that wire so i don't see it i hate looking at wires um but there's no way it's not long enough so i have to keep it there and then under the table this is all about maximizing space i have all of my wallpaper and gift wrap some charms in there bits and pieces some findings and then here i have all of my uh snippets just snippets gracias silvia <laughs> Mi hermano, mi hermano, mi hermano porque me lo hizo. Here I have all of my vintage ribbon. And then this holds like more things in there. And then this is just scraps. Um, so yeah, guys, that is the craft room. I'm so happy. I am going to get in here and get busy working. I'm excited. I have to just set up the computer, the printer. The TV is a smart TV, so it'll pick up the internet. And the only thing I do is watch YouTube, really. So, and I have that window to look out of. I love that. In my little crafty corner, I had a wall to look at. So now I can look outside. And yeah, that is the craft room, guys. That door goes outside. So let me just give you a little... That is it. I'm so happy. And uh, yep, I was wanting this for so long. So thank you so much for watching. If my brother sees this, thank you, Henry. I love you. You are the best. And thank you guys so much for your support. Without you, this would have never happened for the support that you show me. So thank you so much. And I hope you got guys have a great year blessed with happiness and i will come back when i have my first journal created in my new craft room bye guys big hugs have a great day